Hello Camerata! This is a video to help you practice the two grenadiers. There's just a few measures that I would like to focus on. So please make sure that you have your music with you so that we can go along together. Um, the first thing I want to work on this week is the pick up to measure 10. I want to work a little bit on our intonation. I want to make sure that you know where your fingers need to be. Mm, pick up to measure 10 starts on an A. So before you play it, make sure that you have an F natural, low one, a second finger, a whole step uh, for a G, and a whole step for that A. That A needs to be right on the tape, right? So let's make sure that that's nice and in tune. We're gonna play, pick up to measure 10. One, two, three. So make sure when you practice that you're setting up your fingers correctly and that it sounds in tune. The other part is the measure 12. We have a lot of trouble with measure 12 practicing the slurs and making sure that we're all going in the same direction. So the first thing you, I want you to do is just practice the direction of your bow. So it's going to be down, down, up, down, up, up, down. I don't want you to play, I want you to do the left hand while you're doing the bow. I want you to bow in the air. So it's gonna be V flat, down, down, up, down, up, up, down. Remember that when you play that C and G, you can only move the third finger. You don't need to move the whole hand. You can leave the C down, that second finger down, and move only the third finger for that G. Let's try and play it together and make sure you're also counting the rhythm together. So start on that B flat, I'm on measure 12. Ready, and. Right? All right, let's move along. And the other part where we need to focus is measure 17. We have a lot of D's there, and I don't think, I think sometimes we get lost as to how many D's do we need to play. So let's make sure before we play measure 17 and 18 that we count our rhythm. The way this goes is going to be one, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, and. Yes. So, let's play it together. Ready? Measure 17, start on A. Make sure you're looking at your music and make sure you're counting. Three, four. Yes, let's try that one more time. Look at your music. Ready, 17, and. Good. After that, we also have a bunch of A's, and it's very important that you're also making sure that you play the right number of A's. So this is pick up to measure 20. Ready, start on an up bow A. to focus on this week that first half the second half is a lot better but this first half you need to make sure that you're playing every note in tune and the right number of notes just because you have a bunch of repeated notes it doesn't mean that you can stop counting so what I'm going to do this week is I'm going to send you a slower version of this so that you can go um, it's gonna be a little bit uncomfortably slow but it, it'll be a good speed so that you can really listen and you can really count and you can really follow along. 
Once you feel comfortable doing it slow, you can go ahead and speed it up and use this, the, the faster version. But as always, if you're still struggling, if you're having trouble with something, if you don't understand the rhythm, or if there's just any question that you have, please send me an email. Um, I'd be more than happy to make another video and explain it to you in a different way. So more than anything, I would love also if you guys sent me an, a video of how you're doing so that I can help you one by one. That would be great. Um, and just make sure that you keep practicing. It's very important that you don't think that you're on vacation because you're not, you're just practicing from home. So let's stay in touch and I will see you soon.